why is losing Alfred Mutua a big deal for Azimio? For one, they lost somebody who is ambitious. So why is ambition important? Well, ambition is priceless. You can't buy it. For example, uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga was very ambitious in 2002. And that is why he held Kibaki's hand. Because he knew that if he did that, his time was to, was to come. DP Ruto, he is very ambitious. And that is why in uh, 2013, he told the president and then he told Musalia Mudavadi, any of you can become the president. I only want to become deputy president. And he was willing to wait his time until today. Ambitious stays with you until his time comes. Somebody ambitious pushes your agenda forward as though it is his, knowing that when your time comes and passes, he will be the one who will pick it up from where you left. And you can see that is what the uh, former prime minister wanted to do with Kibaki. And you can that's also what he wanted to do with the former president Moi. And you can see that is what Dipiruto is trying to do today. To pick up off from where he left it with President Uhuru. Tua is a party leader. He is the, his party is Mandelao Chap Chap. He says that he has a, a governor, of course I think it's himself, and then he says he has four MPs, and then he has close to 40 MCAs. That's a big deal, right? And when you lose somebody with that kind of weight in the country, it has an impact. Every small win right now matters. Every party that can hold somebody and get somebody in power that has actually done it as proof of its ability to organize, its ability to campaign, its ability to identify candidates, that's very, very important in this race where it can be too close to call and they have lost a party leader and of course the party and its aspirants. They have also lost somebody who had great stature in this country. Remember, Alfred Mutua, uh, he started as the government spokesman back in the day when it was Kibaki's time. And then he moved on. Uh, he became, I think, Machakos governor. And then he became, uh, yeah, a, a presidential candidate. And then now he was a potential running mate for the former prime minister. As you can see, this is a person with a certain kind of level in society. And to lose that kind of person with that kind of stature, it has some, some kind of impact because there are people behind him, there are people who believe in him, there are people whose lives he has touched throughout uh, his uh, tenure in government and also as Machako's governor. And these people will not forget him and these connections, they are still alive and they can still be activated. So that's one of the reasons why they've lost him because he's a man of great stature uh, he's a man of, okay, he has financial resources, not a lot, but uh, some sizable, he can hold his own, right? And uh, yeah, so that's one of, the, one of the reasons why it's kind of like a big deal, is that he can hold his own against Kalonzo Musioka, who seems to be the chief menaces for the former prime minister in Azimio One Kenya uh, coalition party. So why do I say this? Now, you remember that in 2017, Kibuda Kibwana, he had to fold and he had to join Waipa Democratic Movement for him to buy as governor and for him to win. Now, only two uh, Ukambani governors did not do that, did not join Waipa. And the other one, apart from Alfred Mutua, was Charity Ngilu. She instead ran on the ticket National Rainbow Coalition, which is good. But here's the thing. National Rainbow Coalition, yes, it got Ngilu and she became governor, of course, supporting Kalonzo, but National Rainbow Coalition did not have any MPs. And uh, Alfred Mutua, he had more MCA seats under Mandelow Chap Chap than the National Rainbow Coalition had under its party. So clearly you can see Alfred Mutua is, uh, let's say, one of a kind within Ukambani, within, uh, among the Ukambani governors, because he can hold his own without joining Kalonzo Musioka and he can help his aspirants hold their own against the influence of Wiper within his uh, Ukambani. And also, he can also try and get other candidates across the country. That's a big deal. The reason why Alfred Mutua 
living as mere one Kenya is a significant development is because it shows us some intrigues that are in Azimio One Kenya. For example, I did not know that things were that bad. I did not know that people were that unhappy. I did not know that guys were ready to bolt so close to the election. But I have seen that thanks to Alfred Mutua. And the nation has seen, has seen that. He, even, he has even told us that five more parties are uh, gearing up to go and leave that coalition. So now, uh, we can look at Azimio One Kenya in a different light. It's a house of quicksand. It's a house of cards. And it will come crumbling down. As far as we can see. The reason why I believe that uh, Alfred Mutua living uh, Azimio One Kenya is a significant development is because of the running mate debate and I believe that it adds a new angle to it and uh, I plan to speak about this in my subsequent video more in depth so please go and view that so coming up next cheers that is significant about Alfred Mutua living uh, Azimio One Kenya is that the enthusiasm the confidence that people within Azimio One Kenya feel will be shaking a bit. They'll start thinking, what is the problem? What could we have done right? What have we done wrong? How do we keep the rest of us together and intact? So the, 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 the amount of the momentum that they initially had, it will be slowed down a bit as they reflect on what happened and as they try to reorganize do the, a bit of damage control and then now push themselves forward. It's a small window, a small uh, slowdown in momentum, but it's okay.